As this fella swims happily through the ocean, he has no idea that a team of attorneys is fighting a battle on his behalf on land. In an interesting development on the endangered species front, two conservation groups, the Center for Biological Diversity and Turtle Island Restoration Network, have taken legal action against the National Marine Fisheries Service, filing a lawsuit on December 28th. The lawsuit alleges that the service failed to protect Pacific leatherback sea turtles and their crucial habitat from potentially harmful sablefish pot gear. Leatherback turtles get a lot of attention when they're babies, and they hatch and scurry off toward the ocean, often to the delight of onlookers. Once they make it into the waves, however, there's plenty of challenges still left ahead of them. Among them, traps intended for fish. The legal move comes as concerns rise over fishing operations targeting bottom-dwelling sablefish, also known as butterfish or black cod. Fishing in conservation areas off Oregon and California, closed since the early 2000s, has been reopened, covering nearly 2,000 square miles. Notably, these areas intersect with the critical habitat of leatherback sea turtles, including key feeding zones in California's Cordell Bank, Greater Farallones, and Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuaries. It's horrific that hungry leatherback sea turtles have to navigate a vast maze of fishing pot strings after migrating thousands of miles to California, said Catherine Kilduff, an attorney at the Center for Biological Diversity. These areas have already been designated critical habitat for the sea turtles, and they shouldn't be a death trap. The federal government was irresponsible in rubber stamping the reopening of these areas to dangerous sablefish pots. The lawsuit argues that this reopening poses a significant threat to the already endangered leatherbacks. Entanglements in pot fishing gear along the West Coast have been an ongoing concern for these massive sea turtles, known for their migratory journey from Indonesia to the West Coast to feed on jellyfish and other gelatinous prey. Additionally, the lawsuit claims that the National Marine Fisheries Service neglected to reevaluate the impact of the sablefish fishery when reopening conservation areas in the leatherbacks' primary feeding waters. Advocates say that recent scientific findings indicating the ongoing decline of the leatherback population triggers additional scrutiny required by law. Sablefish pot gear, characterized by two mile-long strings of 30 to 50 pots, has been under particular scrutiny. To address these concerns, the Center for Biological Diversity proposes what they call a proactive solution to enhance fishing safety. They suggest that all fisheries employing pot gear should transition to new ropeless or pop-up gear within the next five years. These traps utilize lift bags or buoys triggered by remote or time-release sensors, eliminating the risk of entanglement. Furthermore, the center is petitioning the agency to prioritize this transition in national marine sanctuaries, particularly benefiting leatherback sea turtles in Central California. Leatherbacks are drowning horrible deaths or being seriously injured when they get entangled in pot traps, and this must stop immediately, said Todd Steiner, ecologist and founder of Turtle Island Restoration Network. With only a couple of thousand adult leatherbacks left in the Pacific, every single leatherback is critical to the survival of the species. Their fate is in our hands, and time is running out. The legal battle underscores the growing concerns for the well-being of these majestic sea turtles and the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. Hopefully, a suitable solution will provide smooth sailing into the future. Don't stop here. Find out more. Visit the links in the description below for more in-depth information on the stories presented in this video.